A traffic stop took a dangerous turn in Anne Arundel County Saturday afternoon. According to the sheriff's office, Deputy Warren Porter spotted a wanted woman identified as Melissa Day sitting in the passenger seat of a car. When they stopped at a traffic light at BNA Boulevard and McAfee Bridge Road, Deputy Porter pulled in front of them and got out and uh, placed Mrs. Day under arrest. The driver, who the sheriff's office identified as David Wade, was told to turn the car off. Which he did. And then um, at that point, he got one handcuff on her when she dove towards the back seat. Investigators say Day told Wade to drive away and Deputy Porter's arms got tangled in the seatbelt. He couldn't uh, release uh, as the car took off. So the car drug him anywhere from 100 to 150 feet. Um, he received road rash, uh, several stitches. Deputies believe the driver intended to cause more serious injuries. Wade actually swerved the car towards the right to hit some signs, have his body hit signs to release him from the car. So it was an obvious intent to hurt Deputy Porter, uh, which really disgusts me. Deputy Porter was released from the hospital Sunday, the same day the suspects were identified. Both were taken into custody shortly after five Monday evening. As they sit behind bars, Deputy Porter is looking forward to getting back to work. The whole thing was very scary to him because he really thought that he was going to get run over by this car. And uh, so he is a tough guy and uh, he says he will be returning back to work. Sheriff Bateman says the suspects will face several charges, including assault on an officer and attempted murder. They were taken into custody at a home on Hollow Glen Court. Reporting from Annapolis, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Vanessa